Next week, NASA runs a series of Artemis II briefings. This is the first crewed flight of the program. You know, pushing ourselves to explore is just core to who we are. It's a part of being a human. That's our nature. We go out there and we explore to learn about where we are, why we are, understanding the big questions about our place in the universe. The exploration we're doing is the first few steps on the path of getting humans to Mars. Four astronauts, a 10-day loop around the moon on a free return path. Here is what that really tests, what could slip the date, and what to listen for in the briefings. Artemis II is not a landing. It is a full-up crew test of the rocket and Orion for deep space. Target launch window is no earlier than 2026. NASA's latest public line lists April 2026. Some reporting mentions a possible move as early as February, but NASA's site still says April. Safety drives the schedule. The mission length is about 10 days. The crew loops around the far side of the moon and falls home on a free return that uses gravity instead of extra fuel to guarantee the trip back. The crew that will be on board of Artemis II are Commander Reed Wiseman, Pilot Victor Glover, Mission Specialist Christina Koch, Mission Specialist Jeremy Hansen of the Canadian Space Agency. They will also serve as human research subjects. Think sleep, motion, saliva samples, cognitive tests. That data tunes life support and workload for future missions. The goal is to test the following systems for future missions. One SLS plus Orion together. We already flew an uncrewed loop on Artemis 1. This time the systems run with people on board. Guidance, propulsion, power, comms, crew displays, fault responses. Two, ECLSS. That is the environmental control and life support system. It controls cabin air, pressure, temperature, CO2 removal, and water. Crew will run it for days, not hours. Three, comms and navigation far from Earth. Orion swaps between the deep space network and near Earth assets. Expect callouts about handovers and antenna modes. Four, free return navigation. The trajectory is picked so a safe Earth return still happens, even if the engine takes a day off. That is the point of free return and why this flight is a smart step. Five, re-entry and recovery with crew. Orion hits the atmosphere at lunar return speed. The heat shield is the focus. NASA investigated unexpected char loss from Artemis I. They kept the installed heat shield on Artemis II, are refining models and processes, and are applying design changes for later vehicles. Briefings may update this. When I was young, I had a poster of the Earthrise picture, the famous picture that was taken on Apollo 8. And the fact that it was a human behind the lens that made that picture so profound and changed how we all thought of our own home was so amazing to me. The moon is not just a symbol of thinking about our place in the universe. It's not just a symbol of exploration. It's actually a beacon for science. It's a beacon for understanding where we came from. Day zero. Launch. SLS puts Orion and the upper stage on a parking orbit. Then the big burn to the moon. Days one to three. Systems checkouts. Mid-course tweaks. Lunar day. Closest approach a few thousand kilometers above the surface. Crew sees the far side. Return days. Four days to Earth on free return. Final day. Skip entry. Parachutes. Pacific splashdown. Ship recovery. Life support readiness gates. Are any long duration tests still running on the ground? Heat shield, close out. Are there new test results or changes to entry conditions? The Artemis campaign of missions have set such an ambitious goal for humanity that it's inspiring contributions from around the globe. Not just one nation is inspired and moved by this, but nations from around the globe are coming together. When I look at the Artemis II crew with Victor, Christina, and Jeremy, they want to go do this mission. They are keenly driven. They are humble to a fault. It is so cool to be around them. Artemis II is a huge mission, but I hope we will look back and realize that this was one tiny step in humans on Mars and a sustained presence on our Earth and paved the way for NASA's long-term human and scientific presence on the lunar surface. We are ready. We are going to the moon for all of humanity. We are Artemis.